Congratulations! You've moved up the bureaucracy and are now a manager with the power to make decisions. The years of keeping your head down, doing what you're told, nothing more, and doing busy work with no business impact have finally paid off. But this new decision-making responsibility comes with new risks to your livelihood. So here are four effective decision-making strategies to help you keep your job. Level one of all decision-making should be to first avoid making the decision. This should form the foundation of all decision making as a bureaucrat. Remember, every time you don't publicly make a decision, you have dodged a bullet. If you can avoid making a decision, that is the path you must take. Level two is to deflect the decision. What you can do here is to constantly provide reasons why it is not within your department's scope of work and point it to the next most relevant department. A good scapegoat would be any marketing or sales team in the organization who have hard targets rather than the vague process improvement KPIs that you have. Level three is to stick to the default. If the decision pertains to your department or it was specifically assigned to you by someone far up the bureaucracy that you need to brown nose, avoidance and deflection will not work. In fact, it will make you look bad. This is where you need to make a show of boldly volunteering to make a decision despite being the only one who has the authority to do so. At this level, you need to find the default choice. The question to ask yourself is, has it been done before? The best part about choosing the default choice, it doesn't even feel like making a decision at all. And if it results in failure, simply explain it was a logical decision-making process based on past successes. It's unlikely that you will be blamed for making a logical choice. You're in the bureaucracy after all. Now, level four is defensive decision-making. Now, you might find yourself in a situation where you need to make a decision, but there's no precedence. Stay calm. Defensive decision-making can help you here. The aim of defensive decision making is not to maximize gain, but to minimize risk to the decision maker in the event of a negative outcome. What matters most is not a successful outcome, but rather how defensible the decision may be regardless of the outcome. You are essentially playing not to lose instead of playing to win. So I've actually written a satirical guidebook titled Effective Decision Making for Bureaucrats. You can download it in the description below. Hey, thanks for watching till the end of the video. If you found value in this content, please help me out by liking the video. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications as well.